You can ask for it, folks. You might not get it, but you can ask for it. Buy to get $35,000 off. This is how desperate some dealer groups are becoming. This is from Carl Auto Group, your dealer for life. Jeep Wrangler 4x and Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x. Buy to get 35 big ones off debt. Have you ever seen anything quite like this? Well, first of all, let's be honest. It's buy to get twenty thousand dollars off. The other fifteen thousand dollars is in the T E V tax credits that you may or may not qualify for. So have I ever seen a dealer go, hey, buy two and save 20 grand? Absolutely. <laughs> have I seen a dealer say, buy two and maybe save $35,000? Uh, I just did. Uh, so this is a really, you've got to be kidding me because the price is insane. 35000 is just an absurd, absurd, excuse me, number. And it's also really got to be kidding me because it's deceitful advertising. <laughs> You know, the, the next thing, the next thing Carl is going to do, in my opinion, would be to take a page out of the Tesla playbook and then also factor in another $10,000 worth of gas savings over the three year life of, of, of having that, those vehicles yep. it might only be $5,000 per vehicle, you know, and then you can advertise, get $45,000 in savings. Um, can so, advertise whatever the hell you want, evidently. Uh, well, yes, yeah, yes, you can. I and will say, many, and yeah. many dealers are. Yeah, I, I will say, our twenty nine percent off for my twenty nine percent or my twenty ninth birthday is very real, folks. So you can take advantage of that, Dad. The other, really, you gotta be kidding me. Same brand. U.S. is probing one hundred and fifty thousand Ram and Jeep vehicles experiencing sudden engine stalls. The investigation oh. on. Relatively new Ram and Jeep vehicles, Dad, uh, Ram trucks and Jeep SUVs, 2022 Ram 1500s and 2022 Jeep Wagoneers. The vehicles are experiencing a sudden, quote, loss of motor power, motive power due to electro, uh, electrical concerns causing the engine to shut down with intermittent ability to restart. 80 complaints have been filed thus far. All right, we've got a Jeep dealer out here that is just going nuts man this okay. is a 2023 jeep grand wagoneer all right it's got 17,193 miles on it and we're trying so to help it's, them. Yeah. so it's a pre-owned car it's a pre-owned car dad and i want to just walk you through what's nuts about this first okay. the aftermarket's there i know it's a little bit tiny but that says three-year car fusion 1500 bucks zillion ceramic 1500 bucks windshield replacement 1500 bucks. You've got $4,485 worth of add-ons. That's one thing I want to address with you. Then you also have a selling price of $79,999. What's confusing to me, Dad, is that's a higher selling price than what they currently have it advertised for. And they're adding the nearly $4,500 worth of add-ons on a Jeep that's been sitting there 141 days. What the and heck? it's pre-owned, and and most dealerships have a 45, 60, 90 day maximum turn policy on their pre-owned cars. So what that means is, if a dealership says we have a ninety day turn policy on or aging policy on used cars, if they haven't sold it within ninety days, they take it to the auction. And, and they get whatever money they can get out of it, they, yep. they get. So for a dealer to still be sitting on a vehicle after 141 days and then and then be playing games with the pricing that they're playing, advertising it on their website for 76 and change, showing a customer that it's 79 and change, plus an additional $4,485, um, that just speaks to the greed of that particular dealership. And, and then I, you know, I take personally, I take a lot of heat in the comments for, well, why do you always, all you do is rag on car dealers. You don't want us to make any money. You don't No, I just want you to be fair. Okay. If you advertise the damn price on your website, at 76,000 whatever then damn it when the customer shows up at the store 
It should still be 76,000 and whatever, not suddenly 79,000 and whatever. And, and then, and then if, if you had any integrity at all, you would have shown on the website, oh, by the way, there's another $4,485 we're going to add to this for things that you didn't ask for and for things that we should have never applied or put on a pre-owned car uh, just so we could, I don't know, make more than we should have. I'm not saying dealers shouldn't make money. If they are going to risk their money and and either buy or trade used cars and recondition them and advertise them and try and sell them. Absolutely, they should be able to make some money doing that if they have bought the right cars. But you don't have to lie, cheat, and steal to do it. I I, I mean, I, I, I get that you think you do, but you don't. How would your business grow if, if I don't know, you suddenly became the dealer in your area that was going to be transparent, that was going to answer a customer's inquiry and questions with, I don't know, the actual damn answers? What if, what if you showed the selling price and then disclosed that there was going to be $4,485 40, $4, worth of additional uh, equipment added to that price what if you did that up front or or what if you did it and you just showed the price and you said somewhere in there there are many many accessories that are available on the vehicle that we could recommend to you and we would be more than happy to share those and go over those with you if and when you come in to buy the car it, it doesn't it you don't have to lie cheat and steal i'll just it's i mean it's pretty simple i don't know and i know everybody thinks well you you lied cheated and stole for 43 years i did not didn't have to now i'm not going to say and sit here and say that when i first started in the business and i didn't know what the hell i was doing because the managers that that trained me um kept me in the dark kind of like a mushroom um yeah, maybe maybe I did, but it wasn't because I wanted to. It's because I didn't know any better. And when I learned what was happening, when I learned, when I saw how you can impact things, I did everything in my power at every dealership that I worked at to try and change the way we do things so that it would be more customer-centric. So I'm sorry. I was pretty damn successful for 43 years without lying, cheating, and stealing. And I would suggest to any dealer out there that you could do the same.